Good morning. This is week 16. Um, seems like every other week I'm like switching it up with where I'm at. But it really depends if I can get natural light or if I have to use an LED light. And I really like natural light and that's what I'm using today. So I'm in my son's room. Alright, so starting with week 16, I'm getting huge. The baby is the size of an avocado, which like I said last time, that varies in sizes. I mean, from tiny to big. But from crown to rump, which is head to butt, um, that would be four and a half inches. And I think he's definitely there. Um, he weighs three and a half ounces and will double in size in the next few weeks. Uh, not in size, in weight, but he will gain inches too. Um, but uh, started growing toenails too, which is really cool. Um, and then they said something about uh, the scalp is for I don't know, but then they said there was no hair. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to say anything about that. I just kind of go through the key pinpoints or whatever I find interesting, thinking other moms will find it interesting too. But anyways, for me, pregnancy glow is non-existent. And I have a theory about this. Um, I think that pregnancy glow is like people that aren't pregnant, when you see a person that's pregnant, it's just beautiful because, you know, they have a life growing in them. And I don't know, whenever I've seen women that are pregnant, whether they're like, you know, beautiful or not when they're not, they're beautiful when they're pregnant because it's just like, you know, oh my God, you have a baby in you. So that's my theory on that. I don't know <laughs> if that's true or not, but I mean, I feel like no pregnancy glow for me because I don't have, I mean, I have acne. My face isn't dry anymore, so that's good, but I have acne and, um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel large and I know I'm not, I know I'm not. I don't have like an eating disorder, but you know, when you're in that stage of like, do I look like I have a chub or do I look like I'm pregnant? So, you know, but if I eat food, I definitely look pregnant. It's like it pops out that much more. So I try to eat a good breakfast every day. Oh, the sun's really coming out now. Now I'm going to have lines on my face. Just ignore it. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling the baby move a lot and not so much with my hand. Like I'll jump and like put my hand there and see if I can feel them and... It's like a hit or miss if I can or not. Um, energy is back and full and I just want to go out. I want to be outside. I do not want to be inside. Um, I do want to clean things, but it's like if the sun's out, I want to be out. And that's just how I am. That's how I want to be. Um, especially with my kids. I, and my youngest, or my only kid, my youngest, my oldest, <laughs> He loves being outside, so I got really lucky with him. Um, but yeah, sorry, I usually don't look back down at this, but today I'm in, you know, I don't know what's up with me. I'm pregnancy brain in full. Oh my God, I'm hating this lighting. Let me move over here. It's a little bit better. <laughs> okay, ignore the clothes hamper. Um, so yeah, other than that, I'm planning a baby moon, which I read that, you know, this is time to do that. I am, I haven't had anything in stone. We did just get married, so it's going to be like a honeymoon baby moon. Um, my oldest son just started overnights with his dad. It will this weekend, so that's going to kind of help out. I don't, like, all this time, I haven't wanted to take any time out. When we got married, I was like, we're not doing no honeymoon now because I didn't want him to be watched for a weekend and we miss out on that time with him, knowing that he'd be with his dad every other weekend starting now. So um, we're going to do that. We're going to do, a, I don't know, something local, hotel, probably the beach because that's what I love. Um, but yeah, we're going to figure that out when it comes, but we're definitely planning on doing that. And I do suggest it for people that don't have kids because once you have a kid, it is so hard to leave them. And then if you do leave them later on, if you don't feel bad, you'll feel bad then because you're like, fuck, or, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, you're like, oh my God, I went and did that and I wasn't with my kid and, I should have been. They were only, whatever, six months to a year old or whatever. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how people just have babies and go to Vegas, go to L.A., go to, you know, wherever they go to, like, do whatever they do. 
Um, so back to, oh, and then going to Disneyland without your kid. That is so mean. I would never do that. <laughs> I see some people do that and I'm like, if I was your kid, I'd hate you right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'll do a belly shot and I'll share with you what shirt I'm wearing. It's from, um, Target. It's Lisa Lang. It's just a regular tank top. I actually got it. See, I haven't eaten yet, so it kind of just looks like I'm big. Anyways, so I'll show the belly and the non-brightish light. It's big. I try to do like a side one so you can kind of see like where my legs would be or whatever. But yeah, it's not, it's just, this is weird. If I eat food, it'll get bigger down here and then smaller up here. It's so weird. So weird. I smell like chocolate right now because I just used the cocoa butter to not get stretch marks. Anyway, so yeah, this tank top is cool. It's it's a it's like a thicker, it's not super thin. Um, and it is expensive from Target. I feel like Target is not bargain shopping, but I do shop there because I have the Cartwheel app and I have a credit card for there and you might as well use that. This I got on sale 20% off on the Cartwheel app. So get the Cartwheel app, check it out. You will find deals. Don't get addicted to it. Don't think you need to buy everything from Target because you're going to get that deal or that deal or that deal because that's how they get you. Um, but yeah, so that's about it for this week. Uh, I need to get to work. I keep doing these videos late and one day I'll get it on point. Ah, and the editing. I'll get that on point too. I haven't gotten to there. Um, my editing is still kind of janky, but bear with me. All right. I will see you guys next week.